For a structure to be durable, it should be free from cracks. One of the major issues in concrete is the development of shrinkage cracks. This can be avoided by keeping the surface moist when it's hardening. This process is called curing. Come, let's see the ideal process. Curing is the process of maintaining moisture of freshly placed concrete to ensure proper hardening, attaining desirable strength and durability. Curing keeps the concrete surface moist and reduces the shrinkage cracks. Curing should be started at the earliest. It has to be started when surface is hard enough for a person to walk over it without damage to concrete. Till such time, the surface moisture may be maintained by splashing or spraying water without force. Method of curing depends on type of member. Ponding is used for flat members like slabs. It is done by impounding the water to a depth of around 50 millimeters. The slab is to be divided by constructing small bunds with lean mortar or mud. Bunds are filled with water. Ponds are replenished with water at frequent intervals. Wet covering is generally used for columns, sloped surfaces, beams, concrete walls. The concrete surfaces are to be covered with wet jute bags, burlaps, straw, etc. Water is sprinkled on these coverings at regular intervals to ensure continuous wetness. These should not be allowed to dry even for a short duration. Sprinkling or spraying method is generally used for masonry and plaster. The frequency of spraying or sprinkling should ensure that the surfaces are continuously moist. It is advisable to cure the members for a minimum period of 10 days. Intermittent curing is more dangerous than not curing as it leads to cracking and crazing of concrete. Curing is essential to achieve strength and durability of concrete. Curing should start as soon as concrete is stiffened. Curing should be continued for minimum of 10 days for OPC and 14 days for blended cement. Intermittent curing results in cracking and crazing of concrete. <laughs>